Hi, this is Dr. Jared Garrison, the uh, Glenn County Health Officer. And I'm Elise Garrison, a social work student at Chico State. And Elise is my daughter, and we are trimming up for Suicide Awareness uh, Week and are going to be talking about um, resilience or grit and uh, about coping skills and some things that we can do when things are difficult. So what is resiliency? Resiliency is the ability to adapt to difficult and or unforeseen situations. So coping skills are tools, they're things that we can do to make it so when things are tough that we're able to get through them uh, more effectively. Um, Elise, what are some coping skills that you like to do? Um, so I use breathing exercises and I also set aside time to spend in nature. That's awesome. I do breathing exercises as well. Um, and uh, there's box breathing, um, which is kind of an easy thing to do. If you uh, have some questions about that, you get a simple Google search. We'll, um, we'll, we'll give you lots of information. Um, for me, probably exercise is the thing that I use to deal with stress the most. I exercise probably six days a week. Um, it's amazing how I can just feel very overwhelmed. I can go for a run. And then when I come back, I can think clearly. And so um, exercise is one of the biggest things that I do. Um, sometimes I'll meditate, um, sometimes. And um, the other thing is, is kind of tapping into my spiritual belief system. So reading the Bible, prayer, those types of things can be very helpful for me as well. So given everything that's been going on with COVID, we thought that it would be helpful to put together a list of social distance friendly coping skills. Um, so on that list, we have reading or writing, painting or drawing, using positive self-talk, setting aside time to care for yourself, video chatting or calling a friend, spending time in nature, meditating, and using body weight exercises or running. And um, as she mentioned about uh, using positive self-talk. So most of us are kind of having a little bit of a conversation with ourselves um, all the time. And I think it's very important that we pay attention to what we're saying to ourselves and make sure that what we're saying are, are good and kind things. So some examples of some uh, positive uh, self-talk is, uh, I am always important no matter what, which isn't that true. And then one of my favorites is, is uh, this is tough, but so am I. So remember that suicide is preventable, and if you or someone you know is having thoughts of suicide, please reach out to the Glynn County Crisis Line. It's a 24-hour line. And also visit the eachmindmatters.org website for more information. If you're struggling, if you're having a hard time, or if you know somebody who is, please call 1-800-507-3530. Thank you very much.